In this video, the plan is to head out to a few different Goodwills and thrift stores all around my area. I've got a few in mind that I think you will definitely enjoy and maybe I'll find some cool stuff. So with that being said, let's go ahead and check out the thrift stores. Okay, so I went to the first thrift store and I found that Borderlands and it was three bucks, but I already have it. So I left it there for someone else. Then I found that Rock Band keyboard stand. I looked it up. It just wasn't worth selling. So I also left that behind. Then I went right next door to a pawn shop and I found Guitar Hero World Tour for only a dollar. Now I've got a few Wii guitars that I'll probably bundle this with and sell it on eBay and make some good money. So for a dollar, I'm pretty happy about this. Next, I ended up heading out to a Goodwill that is a great Goodwill for everything. I've found shoes there, I've sold uh, games from there, everything like that. So it definitely worked out this time. I found three games that were decent and worth picking up. And honestly, I don't know what happened. I was holding my phone vertically when I was showing them on the shelf and I'm sorry about that, but I fixed that by um, showing it in the cart. The first game I ended up picking up was Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts on the Xbox 360. Now I don't have this in my collection, so you know I gotta keep it. The case is a little rough. I'll probably switch it out, but that's not bad for four bucks. Then right next to it, Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing with Banjo-Kazooie. Whoever had or donated this collection was a fan of Banjo-Kazooie. And lastly, Batman the Brave and Bold, the video game on the Wii. I am stoked that I picked this up. And honestly, I think this is probably going to be a pretty cool game. Uh, it looks like it could be fun, so I'm glad to pick this up. Three games for four bucks each. Moving on, we went to another Goodwill where I actually did pretty decent. Again, I found Monster Hunter World on the PlayStation 4 for only six bucks. I feel like that might be a little bit overpriced for a Goodwill, but this is an amazing game and I love this game. So I saw it and I knew I had to pick it up. PlayStation 4 games are starting to be seen at Goodwills and thrift stores, so you definitely should be checking it out if you have these kind of systems. Newer systems like the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 are starting to see games at thrift stores, so go out there and look for them. Last but not least, we ended up going to one final Goodwill and we saw some very interesting things. I saw a Gear VR that I actually bought for six bucks and I've already sold it on eBay for 24. That's totally awesome. Then I saw a GameCube racing wheel, which was a little bit too pricey for me to pick up, but it did look pretty cool. Last but not least, I ended up picking up Fable 2, and honestly, this is like a limited edition collector's edition. So for three or four bucks, I think it was four bucks, I had to pick this up, like, I'm not gonna pass on that. Now before we go, I wanted to talk about three games that I Now before we go, I wanted to talk about three games that I actually got off camera. I don't know why I wasn't recording. 
um, but I had set these aside for this video. So let's talk about it. I got Alias on the Xbox. This was only $4. Uh, anytime I can pick up Xbox games I don't already have, that's definitely worth it. Um, Namco Museum Remix. This was on the Wii. This was also 4 bucks. And last but not least, Guitar Hero 3 Legends of Rock. Again, another game that I can pair with a guitar and sell for more money. So that's definitely well worth it. We ended up picking up nine games. All of these games were under five bucks, minus that PlayStation 4 game, which was six bucks. So um, I feel like this is a pretty good haul. These are some great games, some good games to flip, some good games to keep. And honestly, I think it is well worth it. A lot of people don't think you can go out and find games, but like this stack right here is proof that if you spend the time and you're going out and thrifting and hitting this, you're going to find some good games. Now, is it going to be an NES game, a Nintendo 64 game, a PS4 game? Who knows, but you will find games and it's definitely worth it. So with that being said, I think you should definitely be going out and um, playing these games if you have them. Um, also, pick them up if you see anything like this. That's, uh, that's really all I got for you, so bye.